Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a review on set number 10261, The Roller Coaster. This set released in May of 2018 and retails for 280 US dollars. It comes with 4,126 pieces. And it's really cool. I'm not sure if it actually said on the back of the box, but there's a power up function where you get to like control this from a remote or you can of course crank it from where it says the dimensions for the set if anybody's interested are right here so in case you're ever interested of getting it this is of course a creator expert set i am planning to be doing a whole lot more of these because they do look absolutely amazing and just not only the roller coaster they've also got the stand uh for the ticket stand some juice stand all the cotton candy it's just so cool and what my, one of my favorite parts is like a real roller coaster they actually have got two separate things which is nice i believe there are 12 mini figures and with this piece here i believe you got, it's like one t it's like one step i think it's an entire bag where you do it 124 times i think that's just insane normally i don't do this but the top of the box actually has like almost all the pieces in it so I'll just kind of show it to you. I know it doesn't have all the pieces because it doesn't have like the uh, roller coaster piece. It's got like every piece except for this one. That's why I didn't say all the pieces. But as you can see, there's an insane amount. Like look, 530 two by two round plate, uh, round bricks. That's insane. You can see some of the mini figures have got the same torso, a lot of printed pieces. These are all custom pieces for the set. And I'm not really sure why, but they showed like the ticket manager here. This is the back of the box. I guess it does show that it does have a power up function. If you go to Amazon, you can get that for like $15. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. You know, I wanna be able to control the remote control. And I'm also pretty sure you could put like one of the things on the cars and you get to, you know, get like a video of it from it. So that's pretty cool. Showing you when you're on the ground level, use this. And like when you want to go up, use that. I guess that's really nice, especially how they labeled it for you. Up here, as you can see, they do everything in $100 bills because they're just so rich. You can get your pictures, picture taken, buy some juice. You check, <laughs> use the tickets to see that you're going to be tall enough. Get on the ride. She looks a little bit scared, but you know, maybe she'll do it. And you got the cotton candy machine. And as you can see uh, from the things over here, I said there was 530. I guess you can think that there would be about 530 of these. That makes sense, right? Now then, let's get into the unboxing. So I'm just going to leave these two here. You have the instructions, the uh, bag one, and the stickers and whatnot. Pretty sure there are four bag tens. There are at least two bags full of these. You got a bag seven and a bag ten, and I guess some other ones. You get three full bags of, at four full bags of extras that is special, that's insane. And that's just it. But now then, let's go see it fully built. I'm not really gonna talk about the minifigures so much because there's not much to talk about other than the fact that you'll see with the uh, employees here, they have the Lego sign on the back. I'm not sure what's up with that though. So the way I'm gonna do this is basically from here to there to here to how this works. So first off, when you enter, it costs $100 to come, and you have a fun little Lego employee here. Now you can tell he's a Lego employee, because just the other one, it says Lego on the back. He does sit on a spinny chair, but those pictures behind him basically block him from spinning. Now over here, both sides can actually open up. They basically act like doors. He does have some sort of weird calculator thing here, and it does say ticket, because this is the ticket booth. So on the other side here, the uh, actual roller coaster area isn't very camera friendly, but this is basically the best point of view I can get you. We have those four sticker pieces, which are the photo, because this side of it is the photo booth. And you would walk along the path here. I do really like how they made that staircase. Or if you're leaving, you'd come from right on over here. They did do a great job with the design of this, especially like that mini pond over there. This is our next stop. The lemonade stand, I guess, or the juice stand, whatever you want to call it. You got this nice little old lady as like the vendor. And as you can see, she's got some nice little juice stuff and she's holding some sort of like lime or like grape juice, something like that. And after walking a little bit more, you have another step and then you can measure up to see if you're tall enough. After that, you'll make your way 
up the stairs to come to like the waiting area. So I have this waiting area, since there are three carts, you get three little sections, and then, you know, they have like these poles, like as you were, if you've ever been on like a real roller coaster, you know, they always do that just to, just if you like, if you look like you're just above or just under it, they always want to double check you sometimes. So this is like a printed piece and you can like move this thing up and down if you want. And all of these can open and close. Now then let's talk about the switch track here. It works really easily. You just bring this down. You have your next roller coaster come and then you move it back just like that. Then you can get like the next people to come in. And it's really simple how to get everything to work. If you wanna bring this thing out, you could just pull this in or push it out. And when you have them here, you're gonna want this out so that when you spin this, this moves, which has the ability to like launch them over there. And what this crank does, it basically gets them up the hill. Cause as you can see, when I'm spinning it, the whole thing turns, which gets it to go up like so. Here's a demonstration. You pull this out, you get them forward, you get a good spin. They get to over there, and sometimes they do bounce back. Especially if you're not like still cranking that lever when they get there, generally they bounce back because there is enough speed for them to do that. And it is a pretty big hill. Then you got this nice sign here that says, do not stand up. So when you get up to the top here, you have these three wheels, which basically allows you to get around the side like so, because you got to keep spinning it. And once you pass here, it should be able to go all by itself. And this piece here also works as some sort of stopper. If you don't want it to keep going, it'll just stop it as you were able to see in the uh, thing before. I don't see if I can get it to go around like multiple times. The way to do that is you get your guys, sometimes they don't make it, all the way over there. And when you do that, you wanna push that in. And then with the way how I basically get them is to stay over here is I push them up a little bit and then you bring them right on up. does get a little bit harder over here because for some reason the wheels are harder to turn. And see they passed right by, you want to continue the cranking so it can just go straight. One thing I did forget to mention over here is this nice camera piece. I do like the design for it a lot. And now then let's get the camera angle. It's really quite simple. All you have to do is take off this piece here, remove it, and then just connect it in like that. I guess if you want, you can still keep this piece on. All you have to do is remove the yellow brick and then it, you, you know you can keep it on if you want. The way to get it on is actually quite simple. All you have to do is make sure that all the track the actual cars that are on, and then push them in just to make sure that they're actually in. The only problem I've had with connecting all six is that when it gets to like this area, it doesn't always make the hill. Without further ado, let's give it a try. Thing I did forget to mention also, it's also really hard over here, and I'm not really sure why. So luckily this time was able to barely make it. And then that's it. There is an ability to add like the power functions to the set. You place them over here. Currently I do have do not have them, but I am planning on getting them. So now onto the final part. Um, one of the things I did find really cool though was the coaster sign, especially how they did that. This is like the really final part. It's like the small area. They do have like this nice bench, uh, map of the park, uh, tree, and you have the cotton candy machine. This is the uh, cotton candy vendor. You do have this nice little child holding cotton candy. And then you have like her grandpa holding $100 because everything in Lego costs $100. So that's it for my set review on the Creator Expert Roller Coaster. I hope you guys leave a like and subscribe.